What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we are rocking out with a Swords Dance Mimikyu team that also features Cloud Sire and Choice Specs Hydreigon. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But this team right here is super cool. It's got the meta squad with Shen Pao and Dragonite, but it's also rocking out with some off meta Pokemon. Like we already mentioned, we got the Cloud Sire. This Pokemon is going to be super, super bulky considering it has stockpile. Then you got two heavy hitters with Mimikyu and Hydreigon. Mimikyu is going to hit hard on the physical attack inside, and Hydreigon is going to hit hard on the special attack inside. So really cool team. Super exciting to be actually be using this one today but cloud tire is going to be a first pokemon that we're going to go over in today's team preview with water absorb and the leftovers as its item it's got toxic to poison our opponents protect recover to recover some hp and stockpile to get that lovely special defense and defensive boost Shen Pao is going to be our second pokemon and like i said it pairs up a dragon it perfectly and is very strong on its own it's got swords of ruin alongside with the focus ash ice spinner crunch sacred sword and protect in our third slot, we're rocking out with the one and only Dragonite with Inner Focus and the Choice Band as its item. It's got that normal terror type to make E-Speed do crazy damage, then its other three moves are Stomping Tantrum, Dragon Claw, and Low Kick. Fourth Pokemon is going to be Azumarill, and Azumarill is going to be good for two reasons. First reason, if we go up against a Trick Room team or something like that, Azumarill is going to be really strong because it has huge power and it can hit like an absolute truck. Second reason is it has Aqua Jet and Liquidation, which we can actually use to hit our own Cloud Sire, given the HP because of its ability of Water Absorb. But Azumarill is rocking with the Rocky Helmet, it's got Play Rough, Liquidation, Protect, and Aqua Jet. In our fifth slot, we got Mimikyu, one of my favorite Pokemon. So I actually really like this Pokemon with the Disguise ability and the Life Orb as item. It's got Play Rough, Shadow Sneak, Sword Stance, and Protect. We get Sword Stand set up on this Pokemon, he's going to be one shot in left and right. In our final slot, we got the one and only Hydreigon with Levitate and the Choice Specs as item. It's got Draco Meteor for big time damage, Dark Pulse for stab, Heat Wave for coverage, and last but not least, it is rocking Terra Blast with that Poison Terra type. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? Rent the code is at top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that rank double ladder, look to grab some wins with this Cloud Sire, Mimikyu, and Choice Specs Hydreigon Regulation D team. First match is on its way, and we're going up against a Farigaraf team with Azumarill, just like us, and then Heatran, Shen Pao, Dragapult, and last but not least, they are rocking out with Robum, who is such a good Pokemon. It really is. How should we play this one? How should we get after it? I really do like Shen Pao and Dragonite. Not sure if I want to lead it, though. I could actually lead a Pokemon like Mimikyu, and maybe bring Cloud Sire in the back end, which I can kind of get down with, right? I could definitely get down with Shen Pao, Mimikyu. And then Cloud Sire. Actually, let's go Cloud Sire for lead. Let's lead Cloud Sire. Let's have some fun with this one and then bring Shen Pao and Dragonite in the back end. Yeah, I'm really digging that. I definitely am really digging that. So let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Wait, do I want that? I kind of want a zoom roll. Do we not bring Cloud Sire and maybe go with zoom roll? Because Heat Train is just. Oh, dude, I hate going up against Heat Train. I mean, I have Secret Sword on uh, Shen Pao, so I think we'll be fine. We have Sacred Sword, and then if it wants to tear grass, it's just game over from there. We can really get ripping. And I do have Stomping Tantrum on Dragonite, which is a good reason why I have it in the back end, because we don't want Heatran just to come in the back end, kind of just clean up all of our Pokemon, right? It'd be a little bit of an issue. But let's see who they end up leading, because potentially I want to set up either Stockpile or Sword Sands to get my team set up. Try to grab ourselves this win here. They're going to end up sending out Dragapult and Shen Pao. Very quick Pokemon. Probably Choice Band. I mean, I do have Shadow Sneak, which could be a gorgeous little thing here and i do have the fairy tarot which i kind of want to go into correct i kind of want to go into that i was gonna go play rough here and on top of that i think i am just going to protect cloud sire this turn i mean i could stockpile but i just think protects her protects her play all day and the reason i'm going the reason i'm going fairy terror is so i'm not it's so I'm not, I won't take any shots from, say, Dragon Darts if it wants to come in here. I mean, actually, I'm already very tight, so there's no point. So, from here, we are just going to straight up play rough. The Dragapult, look to get rid of it, and then just protect the Cloud Sire. So, Cloud Sire is going to get the protect here. We'll see what he wants to do with Dragapult. He's going to go for a Phantom Force. Oh, that hurts. Hurts the soul. So that actually hits through Disguise, I believe. That actually hits through this guy. So now I think I'm just going to Terra into Fairy. And then get after it that way. Because Ghost will be super effective on me. So. 
I am just going to Terra Fairy here. I am going to get rid of the Dragapult, or at least try to. And actually, do I maybe want to swap or Terrasilize what's it called? I'm going to say maybe Mimikyu can eat this. I don't know, dude. That's tough news. This is tough. I'm actually going to swap into... I'm going to swap in the dragon in here. And I'm going to Terra and Stockpile. I'm going to start boosting my boy. I'm going to get my boy boosted up. I'm going to start boosting my mains right here. Pots and Pans. Cloud Sire is going to get defense boost. I want to start to look get look get after it with them, right? So we get the terror type, and this little fire going here. Get up against both these Pokemon. We'll look to boost our defense. So out comes the sucker punch. Cool. It's failing. We love it. We love it. And Phantom Force is gonna pop here. And do a lot of damage in me. A bit too much damage. So I get the stock bob boost. We love stock bob boost. And I'm going to get that lovely defense boost. I might go for another stockpile. Do I go for another stockpile? So right now, I just want to go for an E-Speed. Just do damage on that thing. And I'm just going to stockpile again. I'm all about the stockpiles. I want my defense set. I want it set. So E-Speed's going to come out here. It's going to do a decent amount of damage. And then he's going to go for another Sucker Punch. We're not playing around. We're not playing around. He's going to have to be forced to go into another Phantom Force. We like that. So now I'm going to poison the Dragapult. I'm going to Poison Dragapult, and I'm going to finish off the Shen Pao. We love it. We love it. Big time defensive boost. We could hard swap Dragonite, but chances are Shen Pao is going to protect. But I'm just going to do that, and I'm just going to go for a nice lovely Toxic over off the Dragapult. Start to try to set this up, and it gets a withdrawal in the Shen Pao. Now, is that going to be Heatran? It's going to be for Rigoraf. Okay, I don't mind Rigoraf. I mean, Armor Tail is going to come out here, block a little bit of shots, but E-Speed is also going to come out here. Armor Tail gets blocked, and... We'll go from there. Phantom Force is actually into the Cloud Sire, which we're soaking pretty well. It's still doing a nice chunk of damage, and Toxic's gonna miss, which is a little annoying. It is rather annoying. So we're choosing Eastby, which is a problem. Um, Stockpile could actually come out here because he's choosing the Phantom Force. But since he's choosing the Phantom Force, I might as well swap into say Shen Pao here, and then go into another Stockpile. It's my play all day. It's my play all day. It's my play all day. Because chances are he's going for Phantom Force into Cloud Sire instead of Shen Pao. So that works out fine for me. We'll see what he wants to do. We get the Swords of Ruin cooking. He's going to go for the Phantom Force. Phantom Force. And I think I might just recover next turn. So out comes Dazzle Green. That hurts a little bit. Doing some damage onto me. And from here, I'm stockpiling again. Yo, we're, we're trying to boost this Cloud Sire up. We still have Mimikyu in the back end, which I love. I'm stockpile three, baby. I'm not playing around. My stats are through the roof. <laughs> so right now we're decently bulked up. Um, I kind of want to poison the Frigoraph, or do I want to recover? I should go for a crunch here, and I'll just poison the uh, Dragapult. I'm gonna poison Pult here. The Frigoraph ends up protecting. Smart play. But I wonder who. Dragapult's going after it. It's a real question. We are going to go after Shen Pao, and I'm able to soak, which is rather big, because we do outspeed that. Can we land us Toxic here? Can we land us Toxic? Thank you, Cloudsire. My mains. Big time. Big time Toxic. So, we'll start slowly chipping away the Dragapult. Cloudsire, we're looking to just get worked on with him in match number one. So, he is choiced into... He is choice into Phantom Force. He's indeed choice in the Phantom Force. So you know what I'm going to do here? I'm going to stockpile again. Alongside with crunching into this slot. Or I could just get rid of Dragapult. No, I'd rather crunch and stockpile. Because we already have the Toxic on that thing. It'll start melting that, that guy away. So, Plus he's going every other turn with Phantom Force. I'm fine with that. So let's boost our defensive stats. Hopefully Frigraf stays in here. And we can just get rid of it with crunch. That'd be big time. But I could see a Terra come out here. It's probably going to Terrastalize. No, it's a withdrawing Dragapult. That's fine. It's fine because I'm going for another defensive boost here. Rillaboom's gonna fly out here. Really, really boom. Frigraph, what are you doing? Are you terrestrializing? You gotta be terrestrializing. 
You've simply got to be terrestrialized. You do not. So you're going to have to take this crunch and just almost die out to that. So close. So close. Progress going to go for Dazzle Gleam. My boy's going to be able to soak, and he's just a bulk master right now. <laughs> he's just bulked up. And we got a great terror type. Great terror type up against all of them. So he wants to switch his, uh, his move with, with what's it called? Oh, I'm already pl I'm plus six. It goes up. Oh, wow. I did not know that. All right, let's start throwing some burns around. Let's start cooking with the burns. Let's start cooking with the burns. I'm plus six. It goes up plus two every time. That's wild. That is wild. So from here, I'm going to go in the Mimikyu. They're going to be forced to fake out my Cloud Sire slot. Um, do I just protect them? Or do I just try to throw out, throw out a Toxic? I can't go for that. Um, I'm just going to try to throw out a Toxic. Because we're not going to take a lot of damage anyway. But let me make sure I'm plus six. No, you, oh, you can only stock stockpile three. I was going to say, I'm pretty sure stockpile only boosts your defense one stage. But you can only stockpile to three, which is wild. So he ends up protecting the Furgraph. And player off is going to get blocked. So he wants to look to uh, get some work done onto me. And I'm going to throw out a nice little Tox. He's going to knock off my item, which is fine. He knock off my Life Orb and my Disguise. That's totally fine. I'm, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. So from here, I land yet another Toxic, and we're starting to melt. We're not playing around. Cloud Sire in match number one. <laughs> Pretty annoying to our opponent. But I've seen the chance to go with it, and I really wanted to. So I'm, da I'm down to boost my defense all day. We got Grassy Terrain in here, too. That was a big mistake. Now I get Leftovers and Grassy Terrain as a plus three on defense and special defense. We love it. So the poisons are slowly chipping. I told you, yo, we're not playing around. We simply are not playing around. I'm here, I'm just gonna play it off you and And I'm gonna toxic just in case he wants to swap out, to be honest with you. Just in case you wanna swap out into Chen Pao. I'm just gonna start putting toxics all over the field. All over the field. <laughs> well, doesn't swap out. We get rid of the Frigoraph. Poison is slowly getting after it. And we still have I wish I had a zoom roll at this point, because then I could just Aqua Jet straight up and just keep going into the what's it called slot. Just keep getting HP back for Cloud Sire. God dang, we love this. So poisons or the Toxic's gonna be good because it keeps doing more and more damage. So I get that he's back up to full HP, but more and more damage every single time with Toxic. So now that Frigraph isn't here, I can freely go in the Shadow Sneaks. They still do have Terror type. And I might just go into a shadow sneak here. I might. I feel as I have to, right? And what move do I use here? Try a toxic. I might I might just toxic the to Shen Pao, to be honest. Cause Shadow Sneak might not even KO. So he's gonna end up going for Sucker Punch, which is a smart play, and we end up eating. Which is massive. And we're not gonna KO. So can we get this little poison out here? Oh, you're gonna double down into that. That's a big mistake, because I'm just poisoning your team at this point. If I land is poisoned, it's pretty much game. If I land is toxic, please and thank you. Cloud Sire, my dog, poisoning the whole team and is plus three on defense and special defense. So I can sit here, I can protect, I can hit the recover button all day. I think we pretty much can wrap this one up, right? Unless you get a crit, which I'd be very upset if you do get a crit. Terrain should be ending rather soon. And now I can bring out E Speed Dragonite. He's going to be my final Pokemon. And I don't really know what I do from here. Do I just start let the poison ship it out? I might E speed roll boom to be honest with you. Cause he's gonna protect Shen Pao all day. He's protecting Shen Pao all day. And I'll just recover, just in case they wanna hit up on me. You never know, but we are sitting in such a good position. The bulkiness, the toxics are out on the field. He doesn't protect Shen Pao, so bad call on our end, but still. Two Pokemon that are low HP. Ends up going for an icicle crash. I'm cool with that. He's gonna knock off my leftovers, so we don't like that. We simply don't like that. But we do have recover, which is just a lovely sight, right? You are gonna take off my leftovers. How dare you? How dare you take off my leftovers? I'm back up to full HP though. So Toxic will take out the Real Boom here. It's not gonna take out the Shen Pao, and this is where I protect to take out the Shen Pao next turn. 
Cool, melted. Awesome. Dope. So from here, I'm just gonna protect, let Shen Pao die out, and then I can constantly recover and I can win this match with Cloud Tire. Love it. Love it. Love playing like this sometimes. Every now and then, you gotta, you gotta pull off a big time stall moment, right? This match should be going on for like close to 15 minutes, a little bit less than that. But still, we love it. From here, it's just a simple protect to get rid of Shen Pao. And then Shen Pao's gonna die out to the poisons. And we can see what move Dragon Bolt's going into. Dragon Arts, that's totally fine by me. I'm cool with that. I can soak it up, especially when I get rid of Shen Pao in the field. Beautiful play, Sheen. Yo, they let my Cloud Sire in here too long. Because I set up the first stock pile. I was like, okay, we'll get a nice little defense boost. And then, like, another turn went by. I'm like, wait a minute, I could do this again. And then since I was plus two, I was like, might as well go plus three. <laughs> like, might as well stockpile three. And then I started throwing out the toxins. I was like, you can't kill me. Let me start putting poisons on you guys. Next thing you know, their whole squad's poisons, and we are just killing it. So, from here, I'm, I can just spam recover. And we win this match all day. So, they're probably going to cancel it, right? He's probably going to go for a Dragon Arch just to see how much damage he's going to do. It's going to be nothing crazy. And plus, I could just recover on top of that. So, yeah, Poison will eventually just slowly kill this thing and we'll win all day. It's just a stall. It's just a stall. And honestly, we stalled the whole team with Cloud Sire, which is absolutely amazing. It was lovely. It was lovely. So, we could just go back and forth, just protect, recover. This thing actually has no moves to actually hit people, but they end up canceling the battle. They know what's going on. 1 0, big time winning match number one. Second match is here, and we do not want another long battle. One battle like that is plenty enough for us. So, Cloud Sire, you might not be coming in here. Maybe just as a back-end Pokemon, but that was actually awesome to do. Just toxic the whole team and just recover our way out. Kind of annoying when you're going up against it, but when you're doing it, you're like, yo, let's go. Let's go. And that's exactly how I was feeling. But very tough team in match number two. Heatran, Rillaboom, alongside with uh, Landorus. Who they might end up leading for Intimidate. So maybe I want to go into like a special attack kind of like you. I can definitely get down with that. So I'm going to go into you. And I'm also going to go into... Do I go into a Zoom Real turn one? Or do I go into a Pokemon more so like Shen Pao? No, I'll probably go into Dragonite. I'll probably go into Dragonite. Because if they do end up Intimidating me... Actually, no. I'd rather go into a Zoom Real. We're going to go into Zoom Real. And then in the back end, we're going to go Shen Pao and Mimikyu instead of Shen Pao Dragonite. I just like it a bit more. I got the Shadow Sneaks. I can really get after it that way. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's like go back to back here and win two matches. But yeah, dude, it's just so fun setting up with like Toxies. Like Salt Teams are always one of my favorites. I, that's why I absolutely love Wo Chen. You can just Leech Seed, get a bunch of HP back. But in Sword and Shield, I love the Tox Effect. I thought Tox Effect was awesome. Always love using it, especially in singles battles when I used to play singles. Tox Effect was just like kind of broken right you just get in there he can out bulk a bunch of shots here's a toxic here's a protect there you go ggs but he ends up leading these two and i end up going into these two and now i'm kind of scared i'm not even gonna lie i'm scared i do have the poison tire which i adore right now and i mean he could fake me out which eh, a little bit of a problem but i'm still gonna terra i am gonna go for terror blast and who do i rip into i mean i'm gonna be choice specked into this and i don't mind being choice in the terror blast here so I'm going to Terra Blast, and on top of that, I am just going to go for just a simple Protect from Azumarill. Just a simple Protect. Just a simple Protect. We'll see how this one plays out, because I don't want to just, like, leave this thing in here and get hit with a Wood Hammer, you know? I'd rather take out the Real Boom and then get going from there. But I still have Shen Pao. I still have Mimikyu in the back. I'm just going to be lovely. And I'm just going to protect Zoomerel. Can you fake out my Zoomerel, please? Highly doubt you do. Let's see what you can cook in here. Oh, you are faking out the Zoomerel. We love that. We love that. That's actually big time for us. You going for Dazzling Gleam? You are. We love that. We love this turn right here. This is a big time turn for us. This is a big time turn. Because the Zoomerel will, will soak up the next Dazzling Gleam. Hydreigon eats up this one. Terra Blast. Should be able to KO this Rolboom here, right? It's short spec. It's Terra. It's big time damage awesome so we get rid of roll boom. that's huge that's huge for us and now i have to start chipping up onto this uh onto this flutter main and i might just double down into it liquidation and terror blast really depends who they bring out here because i could throw an aqua jet i could if i want to i'm curious to see who they're gonna throw out here maybe heatran the chances are heatran's actually gonna terrestrialize 
Integrass. Do I make the read? Could just protect. I'm just gonna double down to Fluttermane. I have back end Pokemon that can really start clearing that up. So you know what? I'm just gonna double down to Fluttermane here. I am double. Okay, good call for me. So we're going after Fluttermane here. Would love to get rid of this thing. And then we'll go after Heatran next turn. A good thing I did not make that read call. So half HP, Earth Power is gonna fly here. We have Levitate. We got Levitate. Always love when opponents uh, lose turns like that when they forget something. I know I do it every here and there, especially with the, like the Psychic Terrain. I'll use a first turn priority move every here and there. But it's always good when your opponent does that. So big time, we didn't read the turret. Now I can go after him. I might just double down the Heat Trend, Liquidation and Terror Blast. But now they're gonna bring out you and what are you gonna do i think we double down in heatran because if i can get rid of heatran we can pretty much lock out this battle so i'm gonna go into yeah i'm gonna go liquidation and i'm gonna go terror blast if you go grass you're getting hit by this uh terror blast i mean it would be smart for him to ko my hydro and now you're just gonna thrash slice urshifu with the straight water okay i think urshifu is gonna take out hydro right makes the most sense and then if we could just land this liquidation in the heatran Game set match. And actually, Hydreigon's outspeeding. Hydreigon is outspeeding. Certain Strikes is coming across, and it's going in Hydreigon. It is. And yeah, we should be fine here. Because Liquidation will probably KO the Heatran. I got huge power on this thing. And I don't think Heatran can actually KO me. And then, yeah, then we just come in the back and mimic you, Shen Pao. Come on, man. Come on, man. That's too easy. That's way too easy. Heat Wave's gonna come out. You better not burn me. Okay, I dodged it. I dodged it. Awesome. It feels good to be on the other side of that, considering I miss heat waves left and right. So Heatran gets stumped on, even without that crit, I think we were still KOing. And yeah, wrap it up. Wrap up this match. Night night. Now I bring out Shin Pao. Bum bum bum. We got the sash. And our opponent's just gonna cancel this match. No doubt in my mind they cancel this match. No doubt in my mind they cancel this match. And we are killing it, yo. 2 and 0 for today's video so far. We'll pop a nice little crunch. We'll pop a nice little prey rough. And is that the game? Like they gotta be kidding. There's no way they're staying in this match. They are! That is wild. That is wild. Some big time damage comes out here. Surgeon Strike's gonna KO my Shen Pao. And assume real as long as you land this player off, it's night night. It's okay, I saw I saw Mimikyu in the back end anyway. Mimi Mims coming in back end. If I miss I have a feeling I'm missing this player off. I don't know why. Odd feeling. Odd feeling that I'm missing this player off. Okay, we don't. Awesome. Zoom Rail picks up the big time KO, and there it is, ladies and gentlemen. 2 0. And Zoom Rail carried in the second match. But now we're going to go hop into the third and final match. Look for a perfect record. Final match coming at you guys, 2-0, and, oh, and we already showcased this team to its fullest potential. We used Cloud Sire in match number one, we used Azumarill, Heatran, and Mimikyu in match number two, and I absolutely loved all these Pokemon so far. But our final match, we're going up against Flamigo, co-star Flamigo to probably pair up with that Hisumi Gudra. Then they got Chiyu, Gyarados, Landorus, and Galarian Articuno, who looks very, very cool. Looks so dope, especially if it is shiny. Shiny Galarian Articuno, oh my lord, looks amazing, looks so good. But uh, who am I leading here? Who am I going to lead? I could go Shen Pao Dragonite. Could definitely go Shen Pao Dragonite. I am scared of Lando coming out here. So just because of that, I might just go into Mimikyu and Hydreigon. And I think I like that best. Or Azumarill Hydreigon. Let's go Azumarill Hydreigon. Which counters so much. And then in the back end, we're going to go Dragonite and Shen Pao. Or do I go Mimikyu instead of Dragonite? No, Dragonite is stopping tantrum. Works well, especially as a back end Pokemon with the choice ban. Because if Gudra's boosted up, we're going to need somebody to at least do a little bit of damage onto that. So, I'll take it all day. I'll take it all day. But we are guaranteed ourselves a winning record. This match is just fun. You guys know what goes on in match number 3. Especially when we're up 2-0. This match don't really matter to me. I'm here to have fun. I'm here to showcase Pokemon that I haven't used before. But in this video, we used them all already. So, we're just going to use them again. So, he ends up throwing out Gyarados with Intimidate. I thought Lando would come out here. But... I can work with this. I can definitely work with this because I can still go into a liquidation, do some damage over onto you. And you know what? I might just rip into a Draco Meteor. To be honest. To be honest. Uh, or I can go Dark Pulse. I'm going to stick with Dark Pulse. Dark Pulse is still going to do a huge chunk of damage. Chi is going to end up protecting. Um, what's Gyarados going for? I'm actually kind of curious to see what he's going for. Is Dark Pulse going to fly here? 
gets a crit and it just dumps on that thing. <laughs> Get it on out of here. Gyarados isn't using one move. <laughs> Get him on out of here. <laughs> big time crit. Big time crit. We'd love it. Good thing I did not choice into Dra uh, Draco Meteor. Because now I'm still here. Still here, full stats. Doing some crazy damage, but that was a big time crit. Gujo's gonna come out here next. Okay, so Gujo's rather annoying. Rather annoying, but it is more so like shelter. So I'm gonna just stick Dark Pulse and just keep hitting it because it does have a chance to flinch too. Which is always big when you get a flinch with like a waterfall or a Dark Pulse. And our opponent cancels the match. Come on, man. 3 0 perfect record. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. 3 0, a perfect record. I always seem to do really, really good, especially with off meta teams. I feel like I play better with them. They're just so much fun too. And I, I just play more relaxed. I don't know what it is, but. There it is, 3-0 perfect record, made our last opponent quit right after we got that crit. I mean, I would probably quit too after I get critted like that. That, that. That's just a dang shame. It really is, but hey, I feel as we were going to thrive out that battle anyway and probably win it anyway, so... So we'll take that. We'll take it all day. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread spots today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.